John Dillon in the Cup 1 Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo. How are you finding Jerez? Yeah, it's my first time here. Uh, yesterday we had obviously a bit of running. Uh, it was nice and dry. Uh, today's been a bit of complete washout. But yeah, challenging circuit, pretty technical, very fast. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. At Portimao, one of the biggest stories of the weekend was racing debutante Alessio Ruffini. One weekend into your racing career, how do you feel? No, it was great, amazing experience, very happy to, to join this world and today it's my second race, this weekend will be my second race, so super happy and very emo emotionated about that. Francesco Lopez at the De Viermacher Racing Garage around this circuit, what do you think are the, the main like challenging areas of the track on the layout? It's quite fast, uh, has some tricky corners to be honest, uh, I think the trickiest way is to, to handle the high speed corner and the low speed corner. Welcome to race one. It is J-Mo Hartling on pole position. Martin Kazmarski there alongside him on his GT3 debut. But from row two of the grid, it looks like a very good start from one of the Lamborghinis. That's the Trofeo car of Ibrahim Badawi diving up the inside of J-Mo Hartling. He gets through and so does Martin Kazmarski. Very good start from him. Oh, but off the circuit immediately goes one of the other Lamborghinis. That's Hernandez in the BDR competition car into the gravel, into the wall. And the safety car is out as a result. So then the race in short order resumes. And now Kazmarski has JMO Hartling all over the back of him. Hartling got through past Badawi once again just before the safety car came out. And as the race goes back to green flag, he takes the lead rather as anticipated. Jamo Hartling, a young pro driver. Kazmarski, a gentleman driver in his first weekend in this type of car. No surprises potentially that he is uh, not quite up to the same pace. A uh, bit of a Cup 4 battle going on then. Lewandowski has gotten by Ibrahim Badawi. This is the younger Lewandowski. He just shot wide there and lost back out to Badawi. Adrian Lewandowski versus Ibrahim Badawi. Let's see how that scrap evolves. Hubert Darmetko running second among the Cup 2 class for Porsche Cup 992s. He's trying to get around John Dillon here in the Cup 1 leading Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo car. And Darmetko also with Igor Klyer as something of a rear gunner. Those two will share in the endurance race. Darmetko gets through. John Dillon maybe with a slight straight line speed advantage though. He doesn't manage to get back past though and shortly thereafter Igor Klyer is now trying to get past John as well. Uwe Lauer there behind them too. Great scrap this for currently seventh overall. Montego Isozaki closing in on them as well in the other AF Corsa machine. But look at Uwe Lauer, big lunge there on Igor Klyer. That was uncompromising stuff from Lauer. He now pursues John Dillon, two very different Ferrari 488 race cars. Of course, Uwe Lauer running a GT3. He approaches nine and 10, he's on the outside line. He has more downforce. Can he use it to get through? Certainly quicker through nine and as they come out of turn 10, it is Uwe Lauer up into seventh place. Oh, and Igor Klyer dives up the inside of John Dillon too. And that might have been slightly ambitious. John Dillon gets back past. Meanwhile, Ibrahim Badawi leads the Cup 4 lead battle. This is also for third overall. Adrian Lewandowski trying to find his way by. He'll be sharing the car with Andre this weekend, his father. I think Adrian is getting a little bit impatient here. He's struggling to find a way past Badawi. But Jamo Hartling doesn't seem to have struggled at any juncture in this race. Hot conditions, tough race for him, but he is a winner once again in the GT Winter Series. And Badawi takes third place ahead of Adrian Lewandowski. Martin Kazmarski taking second overall in his first GT3 race. Uh, how does it feel to get across the line first, sir? Oh, incredible. Um, yeah, it was a little bit hot in the car, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, no worries. It was a very good race. 
Um, also good work from my team. Thanks to all and uh, yeah. Jamo Hartling then a bit hot and bothered after that race, but a well-deserved win in GT Winter Series for SR Motorsport and the young German. John Dillon, despite being overtaken a few times in that race, he wins in the Cup 1 class ahead of Motohiko Isosaki and Petros Macris. Cup 2 going to Hubert Darmetko, another win for the PTT Porsche driver. So then, Sunday morning, presenting an entirely different set of circumstances. Kenneth Heyer on pole position alongside Kazmarski in quite torrential rain. A good start from the second row from Andrzej Lewandowski. However, I think he was out of formation there as the race got started. He's trying to lunge for the inside. Our leader then is Kazmarski. A poor start from Kenneth Heyer, our pole sitter. Everybody being extra careful through the first corner, as you would anticipate. It's a much different day at Jerez than Saturday was. Riding on board there with Darmetko. Lots of spray to contend with for these drivers. Kenneth Heyer really looks to be struggling. Leandro Martins attacking him in the cup car. Ibrahim Badawi also fighting higher for position. All of this is happening while Kazmarski and uh, his countryman Andrzej Lewandowski disappear up the road in first and second. So this is the battle for third place and Kenneth Heyer. We saw this in Estoril as well in the wet conditions. It doesn't look like everything is quite hooked up. Darmetko and Martins both go deep into the center chicane. Ibrahim Badawi with a little bit of a reprieve then in the fourth place. There's uh, Premislav Bienkowski getting past Motihiko Isozaki as he tries to uh, chase Igor Klaya. Darmetko getting past Ibrahim Badawi there. So Badawi starting to come off the boil a little bit there as well. Dylan and Klaya just behind Uwe Lauer. John Dylan once again leading in the Cup 1 class. But uh, Igor Klaya and Premislav Bienkowski want to fight for the overall positions. <laughs> Here goes Klaya once again lunging at that chicane. We're seeing so many exciting moves at the final hairpin. Riding on board once again with Darmetko. This is a fourth overall. It's also for the Cup 2 class lead. Leandro Martins holding that position for now. But Darmetko, something of a tour de force this year in the GT Win Series Cup 2 class right there with him. And what about Andrzej Lewandowski holding on magnificently here to Kazmarski. So the GT3 car leads the way. Kazmarski likes the wet conditions. Former Rally Cross and Rally Raid driver, so that does make a lot of sense. Andrzej Lewandowski, we've already seen him win overall in the wet conditions in this GT Winter Series season. Side by side still for the Cup 2 lead. And Darmetko may have just made the move he needs. He's got a nose ahead. He's got a car ahead. He is up into fourth place overall. Leandro Martins trying to get his nose back in there. Kenneth Heyer also involved in this. It's his third, uh, battle for third overall and also the Cup 2 lead. So important on many different levels here. Ah, but into the pit lane comes Andrzej Lewandowski. And he has a drive-through penalty because of the thing I mentioned previously. He was out of position on the rolling start. So he gets a drive-through. That will undoubtedly hand a good lead to Kazmarski. And look at that from Darmetko moving up to third overall. Leandro Martins all over the back of Kenneth Hyatt. He now needs to get through to try and pursue Hubert Darmetko, and he may have just done it. Not quite. Kenneth Heyer on the outside line, finding a little bit of grip and adhesion in these horribly challenging conditions. There goes Leandro Martins up into fourth place, though. That's the move he needed to make, but I think Darmetko might be just too far away now. Oh, Kazmarski there with a little bit of a shake at turn seven, but he keeps going. Lewandowski now on a fairly lonely second place trajectory after that drive-through penalty. John Dillon also fairly lonely in 10th overall, but he still leads the Cup 1 class. 
No one, though, is as impressive as Martin Kazmarski in these conditions. We ride on board with the GT3 driver. His first win in a GT3 car awaits. It is a win for Martin Kazmarski and PTT Racing. They're running a GT3 car for the first time this weekend, and it's two cars on the overall podium as Darmetko takes third overall, just behind Andrzej Lewandowski and Kenneth Ayer with a drag race to the line there with Alfredo Hernandez, Igor Klaya, Uwe Lauer, and Ibrahim Badawi also fighting to the line for seventh place, and Igor Klaya will take seventh. And a drag race also for eighth place that Uwe Lauer just about won, but a win for Martin Kazmarski. The conditions certainly weren't easy for you. Uh, did, did, was it changeable throughout the race? Uh, how did you have to did you have to adapt through it throughout the race? The conditions uh, for me was quite, quite tricky because uh, the, the, the rain was uh, a bit lower and higher during the whole race, and I couldn't find a good um, pace in the in the corners. Uh, wasn't easy because it changed a lot during the race. Uh, but when I was alone in the in the in the, in the front, uh, I could be a bit gentle for the car and uh, safe driving. Well, a win for Kazmarski then. Kenneth Hyer second in the GT3s ahead of Uwe Lauer. John Dillon once again winning the Cup 1 class. And a nice hop, skip and a jump there. Hubert Darmetko for the second time to the top step this weekend. He will share with Igor Klaier in the endurance race. Andrzej Lewandowski on top in Cup 4. third and final race in the GT Wind Series is the 55 minute Enduro. The red lights are on, the red lights are off. And it is a drag race down towards the first corner once again. Kenneth Heyer has pole position. He'll hand over to Jamo Hartling later on. Matthias Lizowski, who only competes in the endurance races, is there in second place as well. Former uh, Scirocco R Cup and uh, World Challenge Sprint Cup champion. He goes to the lead. Very impressive from Matthias Lizowski. We've seen that Porsche Cup car in his hands really show out in the endurance on a few occasions this season. And he leads from Kenneth Hyatt, from Kazmarski, from the Lewandowski Lamborghini in fourth place overall. It is Adrian Lewandowski at the wheel for this first stint. He'll hand over to his dad, Andrzej for the second phase of the race. Riding on board with the big Lamborghini. As Kazmarski searching for some grip. It's slightly drier out there than it was in race number two, but uh, incredibly difficult conditions. Uwe Lauer trying to get past the 741. That's in the hands of Eagle Klaier for now, but Hubert Darmetko will take that car over. But John Dillon is not going to make it three from three in cup one. Big smoke from the Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo. No surprises that the safety car is out there. And John looks over dejected at one very smoky Ferrari. The race resumes then and Matthias Lizowski gets a very good getaway. Very well managed safety car restart from Matthias Lizowski. He leads then for PTT. Everybody else cleanly underway as well. And there's Petros Macris at the back of the field as well. He'll hand over to Marco Bononomi later on. Kazmarski is a solo driver. As is Lizowski at the front of the order. But Kenneth Heyer, of course, will hand over to the young superstar that is J-Mo Hartling. Martins, Klaya, Lauer, Hernandez. 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. Of course, Fernandez, usually a all gold car, he's got a, a bare carbon front end now because of the accident in the first race. Kazmarski may have an opportunity here up against Matthias Lizowski. These two have been teammates before at the moment. They're adversaries. Of course, they both still race for PTT, but they have shared a car before. And now they're sharing the race lead. Kazmarski gets his go at the front of the order. And now, as the circuit dries a little, it seems that the GT3 cars are coming on song. And Lizowski could face some pressure here as well from Kenneth Ayer. 
pit stop window opens with 30 minutes of this race left to go as well. So that's worth bearing in mind. It'll be open for 10 minutes. Kenneth Hyatt doesn't want to have uh, to make J-Mo Hartling do all the work. He gets past Lizovsky. There's Isosaki in the 105 car. He now leads in Cup 1. Just ahead of Petros Macris. Isosaki also a solo driver. Macris handing over to Marco Bononomi. Clock hits 30 to go. This means that the pit window is open. Kazmarski will go into the pit window as the race leader. But he will be aware that J-Mo Hartling will no doubt close in on him during his stint. Uwe Lauer into the pits there. You see in the picture in picture. Motigo Isozaki making his pit stop too. As Maski though, pressing further into the window. Haya and Lizovsky have both come into the pits this time by. And they exit the pits with Lizovsky just ahead of Jamo Hartling. Now, it's a 71 second minimum stop. And looking at the data, it's 70 seconds for Lizovsky. So that might be an issue. But Jamo Hartling doesn't worry about that kind of thing. He just drives straight past the Porsche Cup car. Jamo Hartling needs to go Mercedes hunting now. Kazmarski currently in the pit lane. Will more than likely come out in the lead. There he is exiting the pit lane now. And he will come out into the lead. But how long will it be before Jamo Hartling is on his bumper? There you see the gap in real time. That's... Probably somewhere around three seconds at the moment, but it's going to be coming down, with all due respect to Kazmarski, at every single apex. Putting a lap there on... Well, actually, just going past Ibrahim Badawi. Badawi is yet to pit, so that's actually for position as both Mercedes go past, but Badawi uh, still owes a pit stop. Kazmarski then, now officially in the lead, and Jamo Hartling... Will no doubt see his opportunity, but actually look at that indicator on for Kazmarski. I think he's just letting JMO go through. I thought that Kazmarski might try and uh, fight a little harder for this lead, but no. JMO Hartling is allowed through. Maybe Kazmarski wants to try and follow, learn some lines, etc. Everybody's now made their pit stop. The Derby down to 11th place after briefly leading on technicality and Matthias Lezowski is into the pit lane for a second time and this is for a drive-through penalty so that stop was just under the pit stop minimum time of 71 seconds and that drive-through will be somewhat costly for him but he does still re rejoin the race in third overall Motihiko Isosaki has lost out to Marco Bononomi we see Bononomi there just ahead of him so the Cup 1 lead has changed hands. Jamo Hartling coming up on the back of the Ferrari. And the lead is already out to over 10 seconds, but perhaps a late safety car, because that's Andrzej Lewandowski at the hairpin in the gravel. And there was indeed a safety car period for that recovery, but the race resumes with three minutes left to go. And Motohiko Isosaki, a lap down, proves to be a buffer between J-Mo and Martin Kazmarski. Based on how uh, Kazmarski didn't fight earlier on though, I don't think J-Mo would have had too much to worry about. Isosaki trying to get out of the way here. Matthias Lodowski, of course, trying to gap Dieter Sveps. Uh, Dieter Sveps though, with his own battle for fourth overall, Francesco Lopez trying to find his way by in the GT3 Ferrari. Sveps and Lopez, both the coaches of their respective gentlemen drivers, but Francesco Lopez, unfortunately, kind of showing Uwe not how to do it there. Uwe Lauer will be watching on and thinking, ah, okay, maybe next time. Francesco Lopez recovers the car, though. It'll still be on for a fifth-place finish. Hubert Darmetko, having taken over the 741 car, is uh, trying to investigate Alfredo Hernandez. We've had a late off for Andrzej Lewandowski yet again. So Lewandowski struggling, but J-Mo Hartling is thriving. The GT Winter Series represents his first season in a GT3 car, and Hartling is proving to be something special. Kazmarski in second place then. A great result for him again. Lizovsky winning Cup 2 out of Dieter Sveps and Francesco Lopez, who still finished fifth.
despite that spin. And there you see Hartling and Hyatt embracing a great win for them. I didn't quite get the result you wanted earlier, but now back on the top step. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always smiling. Uh, thanks to Ken and thanks to the whole team. Uh, good work that we can uh, stay here. And uh, yeah, it was a good fight between the other AMG. And uh, yeah, good job. Thanks. Well, celebrations for the final time this weekend. Hartling and Hire taking a win. Cup one going to Macris uh, and Marco Bononomi. Cup 2 going to Matthias Lazowski. He has won every endurance race within the Cup 2 class so far this season. And the Cup 4 honours going to Alfredo Hernandez. Great result for him. Next up, Valencia in the GT Winter Series. Circuit Ricardo Tormo is our next challenge for the drivers.